Hi guys, we're doing a reading for Josephine Langford today and future spouse. Ooh, okay. Let's see. This is her energy and her spouses. Ooh, walked away from somebody. And then we have somebody that wants... It's a little cold here uh, with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so... Um, she can kind of be malicious here. Uh, she can also be deceitful. Mm. But somebody's walked away from this. So this could have been somebody in her past. What are her fears here for her and her person? Okay. We got a three cards here. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. We have Freedom from uh, the double card in reverse. And then we have the page of swords in reverse. So this is somebody that played mind games um, that she freed herself from. And I feel like she knows that the wheel is turning here. So her fear is that Somebody's going to play these games with her heart again, I feel. Yeah, this is about love, okay? This is what she's thinking about is love. And recovering from a heartbreak here with the Three of Swords in reverse. So how is she feeling here? Okay. How is she feeling? She's feeling... Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior, but in reverse, this is somebody that is perhaps um, giving up on love right now because the, the love offer is in reverse. So she may not even be looking at love at this point. She may have given up on that for the time being here because of having to walk away from somebody that was deceiving her playing games, being malicious, deceitful. What's the past intuition telling about this past person? Hmm. Yeah, somebody that maybe wants to reconcile with her or she reconciled with. Yeah, this is the lover's card and a past person. So somebody that reconciled, she wanted to Somebody she reconciled with that was from the past person that she may be really loved. With the lover's card there, she made a choice in love when it came to a past person that wanted to reconcile. What's the near future intuition about? Hmm. Something's not balanced here. And we have the six of wands in reverse. So... That's kind of like having um, a feeling of failure, like there was no reward in this. It wasn't balanced. It wasn't what she was looking for. Well, let's see here. I'm just going to move a few things over. There we go. What are the lessons learned here? Okay. Looks like she's gonna take her time and unburden herself. I like maybe she felt really um well ten of sword or ten of wands in reverse is uh collapsing or being so exhausted by something and feeling hung up on it or needing to get a different perspective about something here. So what She's, I feel like she may have gotten that perspective. External influences. Okay. So we have the Five of Swords in reverse. Regretting, maybe reconciling. We have the Death card here. An ending. And these are new cards, so I have to re turn it over. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She may have lost maybe some money here due to this person. She may have had some unhealthy behaviors because of this person. So 
someone else may have had unhealthy behaviors because these are external influences. So the cause and ending here. So what they don't, she doesn't see coming is she's recovering with the four swords in reverse. So she's coming out of that right now. What else doesn't she see coming? We have the king of pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that isn't very good with money um, or is kind of obsessed with her. So I've got a card on the floor. Could be somebody that's going to bring in some truth here with the ace of swords for her so this looks like a king of pentacles is maybe recovering from some type of truth it could have been somebody cheated with somebody else's person and it may be the other person that's coming in to speak some type of truth about this We have the Five of Cups in reverse. So this is kind of like still moving forward in a positive mindset here. This is the outcome, still moving forward despite what is all what has happened here. That's too many spirit. For the outcome for Josephine Langford. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands. So and this is someone that still sees potential, I feel, wanting to, is passionate about, I kind of feel like good news coming here with the Page of Wands, or yeah, the Page of Wands. This could be a new passionate news coming in. She's fully completed this um, getting over uh, these crying over spilt milk she's over all that it's it's she's coming out of that she's moving forward kind of feeling like um accepted what has happened that the maybe the past is never going to yeah, somebody's got some anxiety here with the Eight of Swords. Hmm, let's do some Kipper. Actually, let's let's clarify a couple things here. I got the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck in reverse, so I don't feel like there's any love left here for this person. What's their energy? Yeah, this is a past person having memories of her. What is their fears, this person? Actually, you know what? I want to I'm going to take that back. I want to know spirit what the energy of this new person that may be coming in. What's the energy of the new person coming in? Her new person. Hmm. hmm. Somebody may have given up on a chance with her. Can you give me another card for this? Why are they giving up? It looks like with the Six of Swords in reverse, this might be resisting change here. Somebody might be resisting a change. What is this fears that they're having about this change? Mm, they're having sleepless nights thinking maybe a spirit's really tormenting this person about her giving them this push towards her by sleepless nights always thinking about her dreaming about her what is this yeah they're coming out of some type of recovering acceptance about something here what are they accepting this new person that they may not get a victory with her. Hmm. What do they think about her? What do they think about her? Hmm. Something about, I feel like misuse of money here or being greedy there's heartache here. Yeah, anxiety. 
This person having a lot, a lot of anxiety, they're unable to hold on to her and it's broken his heart. Who's this new person coming in? How do they feel about... Okay, Eight of Wands in reverse. So I'm kind of feeling like that's um, a delay or they're unprepared. What is this cup of love? Yeah, they're, they're not seeing something. What is... What is it they feel towards her? Hmm, no, she's a sweetheart. Okay. So, what is their past intentions? Hmm, they weren't able to adapt to something here. What is their what is their past intuition telling them? Past intuition. Whoa. Hmm. Knight of Wands. Their past intuition is maybe they came on too strong, too passionately. Um, maybe she felt this person was a player. So what is their, what's her, what's this new person's future intuition? Hmm. King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so the obstacles. Um, he doesn't feel that she is going to cooperate or is a team player maybe what is this three pentacles in reverse this is like some type of i want to say cooperating uh somebody's not cooperating here but the king of wands here is kind of maybe broke some promises um, maybe stepped out with the swagger, player, player kind of ways. Maybe she felt he was a player and wasn't going to cooperate with him when it came to this. Okay, so what is the lessons learned here by this new person? Hmm, maybe to show more love here. What else? Hmm. Oh. He may have had a child with a third party here. Maybe if he was with her, he may have stepped out on her. And that's why she feels he's a player. This is a new person, though. It feels like I'm talking about the same person here um, that she walked away from. What is the external influences? Oh, the wheel is turning in somebody's favor here. For this new person, what is the external influences for this new person? Hmm. Somebody does not want them to have a passionate new beginning with uh, Josephine here. Somebody's gonna speak some type of truth here. What do they see coming, this new person? Mm. They don't see someone from the past here. As wish fulfillment. What's the outcome here for this new person? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Hierophant in reverse and the Temperance in reverse. So this person's being impatient, but they're not a traditional type of person. They're kind of unconventional um, when it comes to marriage. May not want to get married. Feels marriage is a burden perhaps and has anxiety about getting married or maybe getting into a relationship. So let's get that kipper now. <laughs> let's find out. Okay, so no expectation here. Okay, what about, let, I wanna get that one back. We're gonna put that back in there because I wanna find out what how Josephine feels about this new person. How does Josephine feel about this new person? Hmm. Oh. Okay. So I've got privileged lady and the lovers. So she may feel like this is a privileged 
Why is the privileged lady here? Why is the privileged lady here? Bad health. Hmm. Why is the bad health in here? Why is the bad health here for the privileged lady? Okay. So she feels there's this person may be an immature person, this m masculine, and there may be more than one person here feminine. There's the main female, which I'm taking as her, and then there's the mature, immature man, and there's a privileged lady who's in bad health. So, and it could be this immature man that's how she sees him. There's a choice in love here, though. What is the fear? Well, he's thinking about her. That came out before I asked my question. Um, what's the fear here? Marriage. <laughs> how about for Josephine? Uh, false person. So he's worried about marriage. She's worried about this person being a false person. Okay. So what is it Josephine thinks about this new person here? That it's going to be a journey here. <laughs> How does he feel? Mm, family room in reverse. It's possible his family doesn't uh, particularly care for Josephine here. Let's see. How does Josephine feel about this new person. How does Josephine feel about this new person? This might be happening now because Distant Horizon is in reverse and poverty is in reverse. So he may be well off. Could be that there's an issue about money with the family, about him getting married. It could be that if he's planning to get married, it's going to cause problems because maybe it's family wealth here or she's worried about having a false person. He's worried about getting married. Okay, so what's the past intention or intuition telling her? What's her past intuition telling her when she meets this person? Message of concern. So she's not really concerned at first. Maybe she doesn't know this person to be from the past. Yeah, she's just working and her occupation came up. So what's the near future uh, intuition when it comes to this new person? Whoa, almost went off the table. She's... <laughs> Her intuition is telling her that she could lose her house if she gets married because there's a divorce card here with adjudication. So there could be some type of something to do with court, maybe end up losing her house over this marriage if they get married. And he's worried that he's not going to be classed as high honor and have any in unexpected income he feel I kind of feel like he feels he's gonna lose a lot more if he gets married other than just being in high honor maybe he has a lot of people that want him like women what is the lesson learned here for this new person what's the lesson learned from the new person Let's see yeah, maybe choosing somebody that's immature and somebody that wants his money. So he's worried about them taking his money if he gets married to them. And she's worried that she's going to lose her house or whatever. She's going to lose a lot more than what she'll gain from this person. There's more to lose. Um, What is... What is the external influences here? Ooh, courthouse. Why courthouse? Why is a courthouse there? External influences. Yeah, he's worried about having to get a divorce and maybe doesn't want to get married. And 
she's worried that she might lose her job with toil and labor in the reverse. It might affect her her income or her job. What don't they see coming here? How about Josephine? How does Josephine feel? Hmm. Imprisonment in reverse, wanting to be free and theft. So he's worried that she's going to take his money. She's worried that she's going to feel stuck in a relationship or imprisoned, or it could be either or. Okay, um, he could feel that he's going to feel imprisoned and wants to be free, or doesn't see coming that freedom here. And then maybe she's worried about him taking her money. So let's see. What's the outcome here for her? She may not receive a message here. What is, what doesn't, um, what's the outcome for him, this new person? What's the outcome for him? What's the outcome for him? That one wanted to come. Mm -hmm courtship in reverse so he may not even come forward because it looked like he was really had a lot of anxiety about this um feels like getting married is a burden maybe doesn't even take action towards her because remember he maybe has a child with a third party here and he somebody needed to get a different perspective here and that was her about this person or people like him mm, yeah he is a wealthy man so it's all about money so he may uh, he may not even come forward for this courtship and message her at all with the message in reverse what other ones let's do this romance angels and see what happens for Josephine here Let's see, what's the energy between these two? Mm, well, they're soulmates, so this is her soulmate. So what are the fears here between these two? This new person. Hmm. That he's going to really like her. He's worried or she's worried that they're going to re oh, recapture romance. So this could be somebody from her past. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. She's worried they're going to have a lot of fun together. Oh boy. And what does she think about him? Oh, about wedding. Okay, so she's thinking about marriage, wedding here. And <laughs> he's worried about separation. Oh, wow. And flirt is in reverse here, so extend your lighthearted energy to others, and I feel like somebody's holding back here. How does she feel about this person? Too many spirit. How does she feel about this person? Well, she doesn't feel he's codependent because that's in reverse. And how does she, how does he feel about her, this new person? Free yourself. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so <laughs> this looks like it might be a past person here. Or maybe it's just a past life person from another lifetime. Okay, what is their past intuitions telling them when it comes to each other? I'm just going to get one card. This could be the one is in reverse. So they're not so sure that, that they're meant to be together or that this is the one. Okay, and that's their combined energy. What is their near future? Give your romance... Give your relationship a chance. And it was in reverse. So somebody doesn't want to do this. Who doesn't want to give it a chance? I feel it's more him. Yeah, deception here and unrequited love. Okay, so somebody is worried that 
somebody doesn't want to give this a chance because maybe there was de deception and uh, doesn't feel like the love language is correct for them for them or it, there's no love there what is the lessons learned here can I just get one what is the lessons learned here for these two Love yourself first. So there could be some healing that needs to be done because love yourself first is in reverse. So who doesn't love themselves first here, I wonder? Who doesn't love themselves first? That one wanted to come. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So somebody is looking at what they truly want in life. So this could be an awakening here for someone. What's the external influences here? That one wanted to come. You deserve love and you are lovable. So somebody in their external influencing them that they deserve to be loved. And maybe they don't see that with this new person or this past person because that I felt like this was the past person when I clarified it felt like that past person and it to come back once again and I feel like they're really fighting this what is that they don't see coming here what don't they see coming here that one wanted to come out Call in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring help bring you together. And they are soulmates because <laughs> the soulmates card is here as their energy. So <laughs> if they call in their soulmate, they're calling in this past person. If she calls him, she's essentially calling this past person that she had a hard time with that walked away from. And I feel like they're both fighting it, but somebody's awakening here. And this is the outcome. Getting to know each other, and it's in reverse. They don't want to get to, they are totally fighting this. What? <laughs> What's the outcome? Can I get another card for this? Honeymoon. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Make the effort. And I feel like that is what Spirit's trying to get them to see. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. <laughs> So they're really fighting this. Um, they're going to call in their soulmate. And guess who's going to show up? This past person who is their soulmate. So <laughs> they're not making an effort here. And they both seem to be fighting it. One feels the other one doesn't really love them. And the other one feels like they're going to get screwed over. And they're not willing to give this relationship a chance. And they both don't their intuition in the past has said this one is not the right one <laughs> one's worried about getting married and the other one is worried about separation and then somebody doesn't even want to flirt with each other because of this <laughs> one's thinking about freeing themselves that's how they're feeling and the other one feels that the other one's not codependent which is good <laughs> What lessons they learned is decide clearly what they wanted to do and somebody maybe has insecurities about themselves, maybe needs to heal something here. <laughs> the other people in their lives are telling them they deserve to be loved and <laughs> what they don't see coming is that they're going to call in their soulmate and the, lo and behold the soulmate is coming back. So, and then they don't want to get to know each other, but there's a honeymoon here. So spirit is really pulling these two together. This person is not having any good time. They're feeling burdened. They're having sleepless nights. And I feel like it's this wealthy man. Now, make the effort here is here because there's something maybe they're meant to do here. <laughs> I want to do a find out what maybe their calling is with each other. Maybe what they're meant to be doing together. 
What are they meant to be doing here? What are they meant to be doing? Hmm, one of them might be an artist. Um, engaging in artist, artistic activities is beneficial for your career and every other area of your life. So this person may be an artist, maybe paints, maybe sings, maybe is an actress. I mean, in the arts, it doesn't necessarily mean drawing and painting and crafts and stuff. It could mean um, theater and, you know, so it could be other aspects of the arts, ballerina, whatever, you know, and then children. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So maybe it has to do with whatever industry Josephine Langford is in. It's possible she is meant to help children deal with whatever pressures there are in that field, okay, to do with children and helping these children see their potential or teaching them how and healing whatever they need. She may be a healer, let's see. And then we have practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. So this could be that she, maybe she's a magician or a magician, <laughs> musician. Um, maybe she sings, maybe, I'm not even sure who she is. I haven't, I haven't even looked her up, so I have no idea. So, but this is what's coming up in the cards for her, so. <laughs> I'm not so I'm not sure who she was with in her past, but this is a past ex and even if she calls in her soulmate, this past person's going to show up once again cuz they are really meant to be together. They are totally fighting it. And honeymoon is here, marriage is here. One's worried about separation. <laughs> One's worried about getting married. Well, they're worried about getting divorced if they get married and they're just, they're ending it before it even starts. So <laughs> they're really fighting it. They're not even wanting to get to know each other here and they're not giving their relationship a chance, probably because they haven't healed from some past hurts from before. But I feel like they may end up healing each other the next time they come back together because I feel like spirits um pulling them together and there's gonna be some healing I feel once they get together they're going to maybe walk into their purpose they're meant them to be doing together yeah this may have to do with children I don't know how old she is, but um, maybe she has her own children and maybe she's getting them into her field or something along those lines. Maybe getting them to practice so they can get into, maybe she's an actress, I, I'm not sure. So, but there is a wealthy man here that they're both fighting this. <laughs> Uh, it's not that it's funny, but it's funny because spirit has a way of telling me how these two are acting towards one another. And with all what I'm seeing in the cards here and feeling, they are definitely <laughs> fighting this connection. So <laughs> anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And Give me that thumbs up, all right, guys? And take care, stay blessed, and we'll see y'all next time. All right, later.